Good morning. I'm coming at you this morning from Manchester Airport. We're in the 1903 lounge and they've very kindly put us in this little private room, which was so nice of them to do. Um, we're gonna grab some breakfast this morning, but welcome to the Amsterdam vlog. Early start this morning, 4 a.m. alarm, which means I'm very tired. So we're gonna grab ourselves some breakfast here, chill out in the lounge for a bit, and then our flight is at seven and it's now six exactly so we've got um probably half an hour before we need to go to the gate and start boarding if you are new here please stick around and subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you like and want to see more of my travel vlogs and i'll see you when we get to amsterdam On route to the airport, we made it. No, the airport, the hotel. <laughs> this is our hotel. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Pestana we're staying in. I can go out with my face like this. No, I need some makeup on. Woo, this is wanky. Oh, look at the mirror and the little poof. Nice, nice. I could definitely get some OOTDs in this. But what are we going to do now? I just need to freshen up a bit. Yeah. 10 ish in the morning. So we've got all day. I think today what we should do is probably just wander around, get our bearings, have some food, and oh, book Anne Frank downstairs. We'll get that booked in. Got size of TV. And um and just explore today. Right, I'm gonna go because you might hear some weird. We are out exploring. There's a cyclist coming, watch out for the cyclist. We just tried to book the Anne Frank house and he said, oh, it usually sells out like three months in advance. So there were no available tickets. We might not be able to do that anymore. We'll see. Now we're going to go try and find a place called Mook Pancakes that I've seen on Instagram. They look really good. And then there's also a place called Water Waterloo Pline Station where there's like a big, I think, flea market type place. So we're going to head in that direction, but more than anything, just wander and get our bearings today and just explore. doggy that fast would be really nice with like a eucalyptus in it but how am I gonna get that home got a shot of ginger Do you want to, oh my god smell it Oh my god, I've never done the ginger shop before in my life. What? In Amsterdam, you're doing ginger shop. <laughs> try it. Please try it. 
Yeah. My mouth is on fire. I've never done a raw ginger shot because I've got you get them from Boost, but they've got like orange and apple in, and I always think it's easy. This. Can you feel it going down? Oh my god. the smell of it and it's just started tipping well not tipping it down but just spitting winky <laughs> this is definitely the red light district isn't it <laughs> women all in the windows they are naked <laughs> well like underwear we, yeah, saw, we saw some sights didn't we I know, but it's, I can't believe it's actually real. <laughs> Special. Oh, here we go. It's like like peep show. Two euros. Erotic outlet. I mean, it's everywhere. What are you looking at that for? Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. You like pick your burger, you add your toppings, got fries on the side with mayo because they're everywhere here. Everywhere seems to be queuing for chips with mayonnaise. Oh my, there's an egg on it. I'll be one of these straight away. Mm. We're at the Anne Frank house, but they're saying we can't buy tickets there. You have to uh, buy them online. Sad we're not going to be able to see actually what it looks like from outside. This is actually like her front door here. Yeah. Come on, let's go in. Yeah, all right then. Yeah. Go into the ice bar. Yeah. Yeah, we've decided not to go into the ice bar because just to get in, it's 27 euros each. So, oh, look, and Christmas tree. Very tattered. Yeah, they were playing like pirate music and stuff, and the one in London's really nice. So, if we're in London together, yeah. we'll go to the ice bar. And that's where they've got the one way or two way mirror in the ladies' toilets. You can see into the men's, and for them, it's a mirror. That restaurant that we just passed is Dinner in the Dark where they serve you in the pitch black. If it's got any good reviews then maybe go one night but first of all we just had a little drink at the hotel. Now we know our bearings and there's a ho uh, hotel restaurant. Oh bikes. Oh god. <laughs> you have to look in about 50 directions before crossing it anyway. We're gonna um, go to an Italian, which is just around the corner, called Casa Nostra. But we saw them prepping, look at this hair on my lip. We saw them um, making their own pasta when we walked past earlier, so we were like, what time are you open? Six, right, oh, this hair. <laughs> right, anyway, that's where we're going. You enjoying your trip so far? Nice so far, great. Right? It's good. Let Tom guess which one I'm going for of the three pasta mains. Uh, fettuccine with gluten. Yeah. <laughs> Smart cheese. Oh. Mm. I like it. Oh. Sorry. 
I must have got a weak point. After that ginger shot, everything's mild. <laughs> We're back in the room, and I think Tom. Uh, <laughs> my God! Hey, look, wink. Like that place, that Chinese we went to today, Winky. <laughs> I think we might chill out for a bit and then head down to the spa just for a few moments to just relax and wind. We did about thirty thousand steps today, so I need my legs to just sit in a jacuzzi or something for a bit, and then we'll see you tomorrow. I'm just about to order it. We'll order it when we get downstairs. Welcome back to Amsterdam day two. We've just been down for breakfast and just had it at the hotel this morning, but I think next couple of mornings we're gonna go out and about for breakfast. This morning's plan of action is we managed to luckily get a ticket for the Anne Frank house. We morning. Had to... morning. Morning. So we managed to get tickets to Anne Frank house, which you, you had to log on at 9 a.m. and they managed to free up 30 tickets, so I was like the first there refreshing the page. Managed to get tickets for this afternoon at one o'clock. So we've got two hours, it's now 11. We're gonna go to the Sex Museum and get an Uber there, and then go to the Anne Frank, and then have some lunch, maybe head back, and then we're gonna go explore Amsterdam by night. That rain is not ideal. <gasps> oh God. <laughs> go on. Oh, I ended up buying a really crappy umbrella yesterday, didn't I? You might as well just quit while you're ahead. I'm just waiting for our Uber. Oh, look at them carrying the boat. Can you see it now? No. Yay, well done. Yay. Um, Uber is two minutes away. Oh, and it's a Toyota Prius. And it's a lady called Huda. A lady. A lady. Oh, it's three minutes away now. Yeah, so I ended up buying a really crappy umbrella yesterday. And Tom said, they'll have their own hotel umbrellas, which they do. They've even got their own bikes here as well. I'm not going to be able to show much on this without it being demonetized. So yeah, we'll see you when we're finished. We just grabbed ourselves a Diet Coke. Sex Museum was alright, wasn't it? For a fiver each. Um, we're going to go look at the Grand Central Station right now, which is right next to. Because we've still got like half an hour or so before we need to set off to Anne Frank House. I'll show you what it looks like now. It's so pretty. <laughs> And we're back at the Anne Frank House Museum. Just gotta wait for our tour time and then we're gonna go in. Did you think? Worth the 10 euros each? Definitely. That was really good. If you can book in advance if you're coming to Amsterdam, definitely do. And now we're gonna go next door for some pancakes. Woo! Taxi back to the hotel and we're just passing Heineken. I think we're going to do this tomorrow though. We're going to chill out in the hotel for a couple of hours and then head back out this evening for dinner, drinks, and just drugs. definitely not drugs. Just explore Amsterdam at night. Good morning and welcome to day three. Last night I didn't take the vlog camera out with me because um, we ended up just, yeah, we ended up in the red light, light district. I'm actually quite glad I didn't because it was so busy. And we also went to the food Harlan, which was good, wasn't it? Tom was a big fan of that. And it was really good, but if you um, wanted to see a little bit of that, then I have highlighted all my stories on my Instagram account. So for Farrington One, there's a little highlight for Amsterdam if you want to watch any extra clip. And then today, this morning, we're gonna head out and go to the Bakes and Roasters breakfast. Are you ready? Which is right near the Heineken Museum. We're gonna try and get into that as well. And then I booked tickets this morning to do the Amsterdam Lookout Tower and swing which if you've seen it it's pretty high up so i'm a little bit scared for that but that's what i booked at 2:45. before or after i'm not sure yet but there's a place over there called plec which we want to go to as well it's like big storage containers 
things for, I think there's a little beach there for in summer, like a man-made beach, but I'm gonna go have some food there, either before or after the Amsterdam lookout tower, depending on timing. And then that's all we've got planned so far for today, so we'll just see where the day, rest of the day takes us. So first stop, breakfast. So Baker's and Roast is highly recommended and now we are at the Heineken experience. So pre-sold buy tickets. This is the queue we need. So let's have some beer at like 12. Oh god yeah, I can't drink beer. So <laughs> I know, oh yeah. where we're going and there's a swing right at the top. So look at all the different ones you can do. We do that. Look at that one. <laughs> What did you think of that? Oh, Tom didn't like it. <laughs> it's a lot scarier than it looks when you're up there queuing. You're like, fine, whatever. As soon as it starts swinging and you literally can't see anything below you. Oh, scary. Yeah, no, I mean like the floor, which you you got the swing on. <laughs> Tom didn't like it. Tom said, um, no, no. no, I'm just saying about the I'm a celebrity thing, how when you think you're watching on TV, I'm a celebrity, you're like, oh, just get on with it and just do it, like the height ones. And he was like, now I know why they are petrified. Oh, this is cool. That little car driving on the ferry. We've just come from a nice Irish, no, not Irish bar, it's called Players. <laughs> Players! And we watched the Man United game. We won 1 0. We had a game of pool. It's very windy and cold, but now we're going to go for a dinner at a place called Paz. Paz or Pack. Paz. Paz. P A Z. And uh, this area we've discovered is lovely. After a lovely dinner, 
another restaurant I would recommend. And we've just arrived at the hotel. Ready for a quick late night sauna and steam room and spa session. It closes in an hour. So we're gonna enjoy it for one last time before going to bed. And then we're heading home tomorrow. It's the last day, we're all packed and ready to go. There's my case. Just need to get my coat on. We are going to uh, check out now because it's like around about 10, but we're gonna go out for breakfast. I'm gonna try and see if we can get into a place called Pluck. It's like, does like acai bowls and banana loaf and like healthier breakfast as well. We're gonna taxi there and then plan is to like kind of walk back throughout the rest of today and then get to the hotel checkout is at 12 so hence why we're taking our bags down now and hopefully we can just keep them here um because we don't really need to step up to the airport until about two ish flights at five so like half two ish something like that so that's the plan there's another restaurant as well that tom wants to try called meet and greet we actually walked past it last night it did look good before going to paz so we'll try that for lunch en route back and yeah, just kind of like enjoy and explore again today. There's nothing booked. We're not doing any tours or anything like that, any museums. So we're just gonna have some food, relax, and just take today a bit easier, enjoy it. And it's sunny today, which last day. And well, I say sunny, it's like slightly overcast, but definitely I'll show you the skyline. Definitely brighter than what we've had. So yeah. In closer to me, I've lost you. But I need you, and you're off my face. I've gone for a pumpkin spice latte because it comes with one of these which sounds amazing and then for food we're sharing an acai bowl and some pancakes. We've got some time to kill so we're having a browse around the shopping market, supermarket that they have here. Their shopping markets are so much nicer than ours. We need more like this in the UK. Have you ever had hippies? They are so good and it's chickpea. Oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. Tony's chocolate. Oh, what have you spotted? Strawwaffle. Heat up your meal. If you want your lunch, customer feedback. And then we've graffitied on here along with everyone else. Oh, and you can even plug in and work from here too. I very nearly fell over then. Right, let's go explore some more. That's nice. Just exploring a little like, vintage type shop whilst Tom's in Rafa cycling shop across the road. Like these scarves. That olive and mozzarella looks amazing. Dutch delicacy. But we're gonna go off to meet and greet now. Meet and greet. Not meet and greet. <laughs> we found like this flower market. Look at the ceiling. How much are them bunch of flowers? I don't know. You need a fair few. They're all dried as well, so they'll all be like dried and preserved, I'm guessing. In between the lines, underneath your bed sheets. It started fun, but now I'm into deep into we're just waiting for, we're gonna get an Uber soon to the airport. We're all done. Right, I've got a cheeseburger. But also got this book to read, which is the Girl on the Train, which I read. Same author. It's called Into the Water. And it was nine euros. So I'm gonna see how much of this I'm gonna get through in the next couple of hours. Keep 